G'day guys, Luke Papandrea here from Griffiths Real Estate and uh, today we're proud to be here with Andrew Ross where uh, we've been driving past, going to work and we see so much activity that's been happening here at Leo Franco Motors and we've been wondering, hey, what's going on? Uh, and Andrew's here to tell us a little bit more about what's been going on the last six months. Hey, good to see you, mate. Good to see you, mate. Hey, buddy. Thanks yeah, for having nice. us. Oh, thanks for coming down. Been very exciting for us at the moment. Um, as everyone knows, big transition for us. Since we've lost Holden last year, it's probably the toughest um, period that we've ever been through. Um, we did quite well with Holden, so it's, yeah, a bit, bit emotional, mate. Still gets a bit emotional yeah. talking about it, because we, Leo had it for so long. Um, so I think he's been with Holden for about 45 years, so a bit tough, and came up here from Preston Motors. He's been here since 88, so a um, bit over 35 years now. Wow. A bit over 30 years, yeah, yep. 32, 33 years. There so. you go. And Donnie's been here for uh, 51, yep. so that's a huge effort. Plenty of experience here. Huge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and longevity with the dealership. So the transition, mate, has sort of happened, so it's it's taken a long time uh, for the boss to get it all together. Yep. So we've just moved Nissan in, so we've just got the new fit out with Nissan, which is fantastic, and the new signage. We're one of the first in Australia to get the signage, Beautiful. which is great. Yep. So um, to replace Holden, I mean, what have you guys been so, working on? Yeah, we, we, um, we, we thought, well, well, I thought we'd better get in and um, and have a look at some other brands. So we we tickled with what we were going to try and try and get, you know, as manufacturer wise, and looked at other brands, see what was around. Not much, unfortunately. Um, we did did poke a few people to see what we could get. <laughs> and uh, and mate, and just so happens is is that the Griffith Motor Group was up for sale around the same time. Yep. Um, after many talks, and then we just decided, well, look, I know it's a very tough time to do it, and that's probably the scariest part with the COVID and everything that's been going on. Yep. The shortage of cars now, that's probably the biggest thing. Yep. And that's really what we want to look after now, yep. is um, bring the brands in, um, do a slow transition, work out the service departments, work out these lead times on how long the delays are going to be on cars now. Because sure. now we've gone from two or three years ago where we were slashing the cars and as we called it, yep. and um, you know, big volume around, so you just move them as quick as you possibly can. And now we've gone to sort of three, six, nine, 12 month waits, yep. uh, who knows. There you go, incredible. Yeah. So I guess once it's all uh, over here and you've done the transition, obviously offering our community a bit more uh, variety and, and option is, yep. is obviously gonna be fantastic for, for the Griffith region. Yeah, and exciting for the team, and that's what we try to put into. We really strive to make sure that we do the best that we can for Griffith and surrounding areas. Beautiful. Um, and and that's, that's, I think that's our number one goal yep. to, to make sure that we you know keep that service, that level of service up as well. Of course. So transitioning, obviously you pick up, you know, it's gonna take time to get all the team in, in, into what we do here at yep. Leo Franco's. Um, so we're going to transition the business to, to headquarters, as we call it now. Yep. Uh, Leo Franco and Yamble Street in Yulong. Um, Nissan's come in. Kia will, is pretty much, we know Kia may go into the middle. Isuzu will be at the back where Nissan used to be. And um, to re-release Oswalds, the old Oswalds over the road, and when Leo first took over, we'll, um, we'll venture in over the road uh, onto Yamble Street and Yulong Street and um, take over the old accountant's building and put the dealership back over there. So I believe Mitsubishi and Honda will sit over there as well. So very good. Very exciting times and renovations. And <laughs> there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this space. Obviously, it's going to be a massive transition over the next 18 uh, to 24 months, and we can't wait to see how it pans out. I'm sure we'll catch up with you uh, once it is all complete to see the finished product. Yeah. But for now, mate, how about we go for a spin and let's, see, spin let's see what you got. Definitely. So uh, we're on the way to the Griffith Motor Group site. So tell you, you'll still be operating out of there for an extended period of time. Yeah, so we're going to run that. I'm pretty sure that it'll, it'll sort of go between two to three years, maybe. Um, there's ideas for, for there as well. Um, so there's room to move with used cars and, and whether the other manufacturers that we looked at before picking up this come on board. So that's always in the back of our mind as well. Sure. What can we do to improve? Um, and we're always just trying to better ourselves. So. Um, like I said, we'll try and lead by example, get, get the team on the same track. So what we're doing now is just redeveloping the team, working out. Uh, we've kept uh, most of the staff that were up at Motor Group um, and, and just retrained. They were, they were great staff before, but we'll just um, give them the Leo Franco way. So Leo's yep. got, a, got a way that we like to, to, you know, just for customer experience and stuff sure. like that. That's a big, big part of what we strive on. Yep. Um, and just enjoy it as well. Look, it's, it gets too serious sometimes. Of so course. 
um, yep. we, we love locals buying local. Of yeah. course, yep, definitely. And having that opportunity to do so, I think, um, is a big step in the right direction. So yep. tell me, what, what are we in now? What are we driving? Mate, this is a new Duke. Um, quite a fancy little car. They um, they sell about a million of these a year over in, in the UK. Yeah, wow. So big, big seller for, for Europe. Um, so we've we've had this in Australia now since 2013. Uh, this is the second generation, so it's not long been released. So they put a new dual clutch transmission in it, little paddle shifters. It is a fancy little car. So um, yeah, newly designed transmission, catch up with Qashqai. It's got electric handbrake now. This is our new infotainment system. So Nissan's going to go to this right across the board. So the new Qashqai will be here in July. The new X Trails here at the end of the year. Uh, the new Pathfinder should be December, January as well. And you'll see this format go right through their vehicles right. now, yep. which a lot of the brands have moved to as well. Yep. So it's just making it easier for the driver. Um, just one touch features, Apple CarPlay, satellite navigation. A lot of safety features now. So it has lane departure, it has blind spot warning, has rear cross traffic alert now for the kids. So they're really coming up. You find all these cars have got USB. The yep. one that we've just taken to field days has got the Bose-Eye personal system, yep. I think the one that we yes. drove in yep. before. we had a ride in that um, one, yep. Electric power steering now. And, and this has got a one litre engine, one litre turbo. Yeah, well. But we'll, we'll put it to the test later. I'll give you a little drive Excellent. and see what no you think. Because as a one litre engine, you just would not, you, you cannot, yep. you wouldn't even look at the engine size if that yeah. makes sense. There you go. So here's our, here's the satellite dealership as we call it. We call uh, Leo Franco's near headquarters. Yep, <laughs> there you go. And Satellite setup site, yeah, yes, yeah. Or formerly known as uh, Griffith Motor Group. So, we yeah, tell us, tell us a little about this place. So, mate, we've got Mitsubishi. We, we separate the dealerships up here as well uh, for the manufacturers for franchise agreements. So, we've uh, Mitsubishi. We've loaded all in today. We've got a few uh, toys that are heading up to field day, so we, we try and load a lot of stock at this time of year as well. Yep. So, it's, a, it's quite a nice little area as well. We're actually going to set this up um, for the minute for our delivery setup. So we're going to change this uh, this room in the next couple of weeks yep. to, to, to be that. So when there's a new car getting yeah. delivered, this is the show. Get the delivery this experience right now. Yeah. Because that's, that's really our main thing. A bit like your yeah, hand over the keys, mate, yep. over the keys to the house. We want to make sure that's a bit more professional. And as you come up on this side here, we come into Kia. Uh, we've got a few Isuzus in here at the moment as well because they're just heading to field days and a lot of deliveries happening at the moment. Um, we've actually got the boss in today, which is good. So he's uh, making sure make that sure everything goes, goes to, to, yep. to clean and make sure that the was customer's number one priority for us. The biggest selling car at the moment for us would be Kia Sorento. Um, that's, that's just got car of the year. So we're just waiting for Kia actually to, um, to we've got a couple of concepts coming down for field days as well. So a bit exciting that they're yeah. getting some of those. Yeah. And then um, another big seller, which is the Carnival, which we've got that heading down yeah. as well. So we've got... You know, your, your used car yard and um, just any surplus stock that we've got falls out into the yard, which yep. is good, but quite an awesome area as well. Yep, beautiful. All right, well, it's safe to say, I guess, if anyone's looking for a car, Leo Franco Motors surely have the right one. Well, so, thanks, buddy. Mate, it's been an absolute pleasure to, to chat with you and see what's been going on here in the last six months. We can't wait to see um, what the future holds okay. and, and how it all develops, so looking forward to it. No, I appreciate it. Thanks, you. mate. Good on you, mate.